Did you know that a simple plumbing connection in your home might be affecting your neighbors? For years, certain homes have experienced repeated sewer backup due to improper connections in other nearby homes. Here's what's happening. In the 50s and 60s, it was common practice to connect sump pumps directly to the sanitary sewer. City code now prohibits this type of connection. However, there are still many properties that have sump pumps pushing groundwater and stormwater into the sanitary sewer. This is called cross-connection. This causes problems for other homeowners, as the sanitary sewer system is not designed to take on stormwater. And when we have significant rainfall over a short period of time, excess water from illegally connected sump pumps causes raw sewage to back up into the basements of some homes in Cedar Rapids. For some homeowners like Scott Gay, this happens frequently. So we've lived in this house since 1997, and uh, the most recent flooding was in 2014, and it has progressively gotten worse every time it's flooded, and I think it's flooded a total of about four times. It's, it's frustrating to pull everything out of your basement and get it all dried out, toss things away. This last time in 2014, um, I think our house was torn apart for over a month. The solution is simple, and you can help. Check the map on the City of Cedar Rapids website at www.cityofcr.com slash sewer study. If you live in the designated area, simply allow access to the city when they go door to door in your neighborhood as a part of the effort to identify and correct these connections and alleviate flooding of residents' homes. A city inspector will quickly assess your connection and let you know if your sump pump is cross-connected to the sanitary sewer system. If your sump pump properly drains outside of your home, you're all set. If the inspector finds that your sump pump is cross-connected to the sanitary system, they will work with you to correct the issue at no cost. This initial program will cover all costs to bring your connection up to code and properly drain your sump, which would otherwise cost homeowners about $1,500. Please take advantage of what the city has to offer. It's not fair to have other basements that are downstream take on the extra load. I think it's great that the city's working to help you correct it. Um, I would think that this day and age, too, finding ways to use that water to recycle it in productive ways rather than just dumping in your yard might be attractive to some people as well. Helping keep Cedar Rapids and your neighbors dry and free of sewer backup in their homes is easy and for a limited time, free of charge. Watch for more information about when inspectors will be stopping by your home and help keep all of Cedar Rapids a great place to live.